Yelts TV are proudly sponsored by the Big Pet Store for all your pet needs and Ace Embroidery. You can find the links in the description below. Hello and welcome to the final video here on Yelts TV. Today I'll be taking you back through the 2014 and 2015 season, going through all the talking points, results and statistics. We've had an excellent year here on the channel and we've loved making videos for you guys to watch and we'd like to thank you all for the continued support. So we're not the only ones to have had a good year though. The players and the management staff at Ailes Own Town have had a fantastic debut season in the Northern Premier League. We're going to skate over some of the first half of the season now as we covered it back in our Christmas special video. However, for those of you who haven't seen it, this is how 2014 panned out for the Elks. So before we came along, there was a small matter of the opening game of the season away at Skelmersdale. The game ended in a 1-1 draw, which continued for our next two games. Our first win of the season came against Barwell, with Iceland Christie netting his first of the season. The 30th of August was the date Yelts TV was born, an exciting day for us all, but it was slightly tainted by us losing the game 2-1. Now we mentioned this at Christmas, but we began to think we'd brought a curse upon the side as we couldn't seem to find a win anywhere. Now non-league day saw us face working turn in front of a bumper crowd, but unfortunately we fell to a late away goal. So we thought we were beginning to find our feet with this filming lark, however, our first attempt at filming an away game didn't exactly go to plan. In the FA Cup second qualifying round against Ellis Town and Ibstock United, Ben kind of almost forgot, maybe accidentally, he didn't turn on the camera, so for the first half we didn't have any footage. However, <coughs> we did catch the second half of Christie's double hat-trick. So we're just going to have a look at one of Christie's six goals, which was a diving header. Great goal, Christie. So after a couple of months practicing turning the record button on and off, we felt we wanted to improve the standard a little bit more. We purchased some new editing software which allowed us to overlay graphics onto our videos, which meant we could go from this to this. A much better quality look to the video. However, this wasn't enough for us, so we searched for a commentator in November, which is where I come in. So I emailed the lads a few times, and after discussions about how we could work together to improve the videos, I came along to do live commentary for the club. So my first game was commentating against Ramsbottom at the Grove. I'd done a couple of introduction voiceovers in previous videos, but this was my first real commentary attempt. I've been playing quite well. Oh! Oh dear. Uh, what's going to happen here then? The ref's blowing his whistle now. Um, they can't control the ball. Number eight for Stanford. He's miskicked that. And 14 takes it that wide. Can he pass it? He's passed that out even further. And that's, oh, that's a bit of a bad cross there, but can 16 get it back in front? He can, and it's a goal! We had a few teething problems in the beginning, and I had to learn the players' names, but I think I've mastered it now. It's ben Haley, right? Okay, so looking to keep the ball under possession here is Haley's... Uh, Haley? Haley? What? However, that's not the first blunder I've had in the game. There have been many more throughout the season. Can't really see what's happening, Jeff. I don't know, Jim! <laughs> Banter. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold today. <laughs> Defending at the moment. Oh god, I've got the hiccups. I hope that doesn't happen when the goal scored. Damn. <laughs> uh oh. That's going to be uh, funny to edit. It was around this time the Yelts started an incredible run of 17 games with only four defeats in all competitions with just one league defeat to Marine. Before this defeat came the first derby match of the season. No less than the number 9 derby away at Stalbridge. Terrible weather conditions though hindered our filming, but armed with just a Sainsbury's carrier bag and our cameras, we got to work. And what a game it was. Stalbridge took the lead through a Bregolio goal, but in the second half we caught arguably the goal of the season. Curtis Tilt with a screamer just over halfway took the ball over Dean Coleman in the Stalbridge goal. Dangerous ball there, could have gone to Brown. And a very long attack! What a goal! What a goal from Curtis Tilt! Fantastic goal from Hales are in town! Fantastic goal, Curtis. January and February saw the Yelts continue their top form with high scoring wins at home to Barwell and Matlock. Eight goals scored, four conceded. 
the video highlights for the Matlock game took another huge leap forward in quality. We did our first ever pitch side introduction and we showed the team news popping up a player at a time. We walked out with the players and we even interviewed the manager John Hill for the first time. So definitely, especially second half, you know, if we can kick towards the shed with all the supporters, you know, on our side, I think that's, uh, it, it stands us in good stead, that does. Our videos continue to improve, however, after the team hitting the 50 point mark, the season began to peter out. A tough spell of fixtures saw us draw a blank twice with consecutive 0-0 draws against Workington and Curzon Ashton. This run was followed by three defeats then to Nantwich, FC United of Manchester and Ashton United. The difficult patch continued for the Yelts, unfortunately. Four draws and two losses out of the six games we played in March. However, despite the poor results, that didn't necessarily reflect the performances. The two games against FC United and Manchester saw us lose just 2-0 on aggregate. We gave them a very good game both times. These were also a couple of our highest attendances, just over 2,000 at theirs, and then 1,478 people crammed into the Grove two weeks later. Our second to last away day of the season saw us travel to Belper Town, a Tuesday evening in the Easter holidays. We all packed our bags and set off in the Broughton family car. With this video in mind, we took the opportunity to record a bit of behind the scenes action to show you what we get up to while planning a video. Right, so before a match day we try to have a Skype call just as a group to collectively put together ideas. So what I'm working on at the moment is this sort of intro idea which is what we have every game really. So basically what we're trying to do here is create a, a little script that we follow so when I'm doing our introduction live on the pitch this is sort of what we have to follow. Team sheets and that sort of thing. We've also got this idea for the Belper video looking through clips and photos from last season and we're trying to create some commentary to sit over the top. And that's pretty much my job pretty much. I work on planning our introductions. So this is the job I have to do before every game. I have to make the graphics which get overlaid onto the video. We have a template for every game. This is from the last game, Trafford at home. So Hales Owen near the away team to Norwich, they go over to the left. And we change Hales Owen at home to Belper. We also have the badges which get made. We take an image from their website and put it into our little circle. We move that over to the home team and swap Hales Owen to away. We'll save that and overlay it on the beginning of the video. Then after the game, when we know the score, we'll swap out the V, put in the score line. We also have all the other score graphics, scoreboard, goal scorer and team news. So depending on what John's lineup is, we'll come in after the game, change each name, each shirt number, and we save this and add them to the match procedure later on. So we asked you Yelts fans a couple of weeks ago to send in your pictures for the video. Some of your favourite moments from last season's victory at Belper. A few from Scott Mitchell here. Looking good, Scott, loving the beard. And here's one from John Austin. Thanks for sending that in. And also, Dave Soggy Bottom Hawley, his Flickr page from last season. Some great shots, including this one. Brilliant picks as ever, Dave. We spend a lot of time running the Twitter page, of course. So let's send a live tweet out. Hi, Yelts fans. We're preparing for tonight's game against Belper. Who's going to be there? Sorted. We also filmed a section in the car to document our travels and plans for the day, however, that didn't exactly work out as we'd hoped. The situation, Matt. Where are we going? Where are we headed? Where, are we, Matt? Where are we going? We're in a car. We're going to Belper. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely going. <laughs> We're on our way to Belper Town in the Broughton family car. The sun's covering my <laughs> face. We're going to Belper. Come on. Hi, we're going to Belper. Yeah. So we're in the car journey on the way to Belper Town with the Broughton family. All uh, snuggled up on our journey. <laughs> Take four and the rest. So we're in the Broughton family car and we're on our way to Belper. What are you doing? And then we have that. Then we do this, we do that. stuff. Do this, do stuff. And then go there. Hopeful of a decent result against already relegated Belper, we were bitterly disappointed come the time for the journey home. A 2-1 defeat which saw Christian Green scoring a late consolation goal in the dying moments in a game we didn't really deserve anything out of. In a busy schedule, just four days later the team had a long journey up to the northeast to face playoff chasing Blythe Spartans. This was to be the fourth meeting between the two sides this season, however, 
the travelling supporters were faced with a long journey back after another 2-1 defeat. Two days later came Monday the 6th of April. The long-awaited derby match had arrived with Curtis Tilt's 50-yard screamer still flying through the air. We were hopeful of breaking our bad form and have some more derby day magic. This game also featured the full debut of our latest editing software on Dan's laptop, Final Cut Pro 10. This is the software used in our video since and in this video too. This has been the software which has allowed us to develop our graphics even further and the speed in which we can edit through our highlights. With the team at full strength, raring to go, all we needed for a great video was a good performance to go with it. And we definitely got that. An early goal from Captain Joe Hall, followed by a Christie penalty early in the second half. His 19th goal of the season, it was a performance which was reminiscent of our Christmas form. Eager to push on, the following Saturday the team travelled to Ramsbottom, taking just a point back to the Grove, Joe Hall's seventh goal of the season. Finally, the last two games of the season. Spirits are high for both. Fancy dress, sunshine, beer, football and beer. Yelts TV's last away day too, Kirsten Ashton, a team in great form and pushing for promotion, were unfortunately just too good for us on the day. 4-1 defeat wasn't the result we wanted, but nevertheless, this was the last away day of the 14-15 season and there were some great memories for sure. Along came the 25th of April for one last game at the Grove. Grantham were the team that came down and the battle for 11th place. We needed just a draw to stay above Grantham and secure a solid mid-table finish in our debut season. And we did just that with a late strike from Aaron Ford. A 1-1 draw, our most popular result this season. 14 of them. And that's the season done, finished, ended. Overall, we had a brilliant first season in the Northern Premier League. And if someone told you we'd be 11th place with 59 points and five places above our local rivals at the start of the season, we'd have them carried away in a straitjacket, in the words of John Hill. Yes, we had a slow start to the season and a poor last 15 games or so, but in the end, from October to February, we were on title winning form. I feel that if our results had been evened out between the losses of the first 10 and the final 15, we'd have taken that. But to have gone from one extreme to another in a matter of weeks made the season look worse than it actually was. So we're going to play the numbers game now. We'll first have a look back at some of the players' stats, then we'll reveal the winners of player of the season, goal of the season and so on, and then we'll take a look back at some of our stats as a media team. Matt Sargent, 50 appearances, 54 goals conceded, 16 clean sheets. Iceton Christie, 48 appearances, 19 goals, our top goal scorer this season. Joe Hall, our captain, 53 appearances and 7 goals. Christian Green, most cap player, 56 appearances. Ben Hazley, 46 appearances, 13 goals. So the champions of the Northern Premier League, FC United the Manchester on 92 points with a goal difference of plus 41. In the playoffs, Ashton United against Curzon, Workington against Ilkeston, Curzon were promoted via the playoffs. Hales Owen finished 11th on 59 points with a plus 8 goal difference. Stalbridge finished 5 places below us in 16th, 53 points, minus 13 goal difference. In the bottom 4, Marine on 49 points, Witten on 49 points, Trafford on 33 and Belper on 32. So for the attendance stats, our highest home attendances Against Stalbridge, 1,748. Against FC United of Manchester, 1,478. Highest away attendances, FC United, 2007. Stalbridge, 1,642. So last night we attended the award ceremony and here are the best bits from last night. Our players, player of the year, Curtis Tills and Christian Green. The club's a volunteer for, for many years um, and is obviously continuing to do a lot for the football club and each year Bradley. Thank you.
been coming since 1989, and my lad John is for 10 years. John Talk about one individual in this uh, case for for your manager's uh, player of the award. Uh, perhaps uh, you, you'll tell us who it is and, uh, and why this person has got your award. Well, uh, first of all, I mean. I know it's called the Manager's Award, but it, you know it, it should be called the Staff Award, really, because all the staff was involved and they all had their say, and, and they chose the selection. You know, he's he's coming for a bit of flack um, early last season, and and I thought this year, um, I think he's he's really turned his form round, and the, you know, really, really, the, there could be two awards for this one, because Danny Watson, who we brought in as keeper coach, has done a fantastic job of him. So, although Matt Sargent's not here tonight, you know, I think it's uh, fitting that Dan could pick it up on his behalf. So, the, I mean, the manager's player is Matt Sargent. I will ask Dan if he wants to step up to the stage to put the award on behalf of Dan. It's been a long 24 hours. <laughs> Dan Watson, the uh, goalkeeping coach, is uh, one of the other uh, one of the winners. The other winner is physio Rob Woodby. Yeah. <laughs> Goal score award goes to Eisen Christie. It actually plays better when it's in here. <laughs> but I think I've given him enough stick now to say that I think he knows I appreciate him. It's a joint winner, which goes to Curtis Tills and Christine Green. <laughs> So now it's time for the prestigious Yelts TV Awards. Let's see who we've picked. So player of the season went to Matt Sargent. Let's have a look back at some of his best saves. Sargent has had a brilliant season making 50 appearances and keeping 16 clean sheets. He has also conceded just 54 goals this campaign. Congratulations Matt, you are Yelts TV's player of the season. So young player of the season goes to Tom Tonks. We're going to have a look back at Tom Tonks' best bits of the season. Tonks made 53 appearances for us this season, scoring just the one goal against Whitby. However, his impressive work rate, crossing ability and long throw-ins make him an attacking threat and a fan's favourite here at the Grove. Yeah! Well, manages to keep it in from Barwell. And that's a poor clearance there as now. Tonks finds Daniel with the run through! So it's Tonks to take the throw in on the far side. It's a long throw in towards the box and it's headed away. And Griffiths with the shot and that's in. Tonks with a long ball into the box and again towards the head of Holden. It's come out for Tilt. Congratulations, Tom. You are Yelts TV's Young Player of the Season. Goal of the Season went to Curtis Tilt. 
A certain Yelts TV commentator said uh, Curtis Tilt's goal against Stalbridge was a fantastic strike just over the halfway line. Got the ball over the top of Dean Coleman in the Stalbridge goal. That definitely proves that it's a dangerous ball there. Could have gone to Brown. And a very long attempt! What a goal! What a goal! From Curtis Tilt! Congratulations, Curtis. You scored Yelts TV's goal of the season. So here's some quirky stats of our own. 61 videos, roughly about 330 minutes of video time. That's five to six hours worth of watching them all through. 61 videos times five hours of editing on average, roughly about 305 hours spent editing. 305 hours equates to 18,300 minutes, which is about 12 days. Which means you could watch all of our videos again a massive 60 times. If you held a season ticket at Hell's Own, watching 23 games per season for eight seasons, in the equivalent match watching time, we've still been editing for longer. Number of hello and welcomes. Hello and welcome. 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 Number of time travelled on away days. Number of time travelled to home games. You and I, we go way back. You almost gave me a heart attack. Try to find out where you've been. Number of graphics made, 162. That's about six per game for 27 games on average. Number of bloopers, well, there are way too many to count. Hello and welcome to this special Christmas video. We're going to be taking a look back the seats. Uh... <laughs> Hello and welcome to this special Christmas video here on Yelts TV. We're going to be taking a look at this back at the seats. Uh... <laughs> Number of behind the scenes shots. Number of match day meals, only two pictured, but trust us, it was many more. Number of donations raised, just over £500. Number of times banter was said. Banter clause. Banter. Banter. Oh, this is in cow banter. <laughs> banter today, a bit of banter. So from a Yelts TV point of view, we'd like to say a huge thank you for sticking with us throughout the season, being patient when our videos weren't very good at the beginning, and then us increasing our views, and positive feedback throughout from you guys has been brilliant. It's been a learning process, but we feel we've carried out a good job. There's always still room for improvement. We've had great fun, learnt a lot, and enjoyed every minute of this season. We'll have a couple of videos out in the summer to show the new kit we'll be planning on buying with the money raised over this year, and we'll have videos throughout pre-season, which will then turn into the 2015-2016 campaign. So until then, up the yelts. That's a wrap. Woo! Yeah.